Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be using the power of chat GPT and Canva designs to create a lot of social media posts very quickly. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get right on into it. So for this, I'm going to be using success quotes as the example. So in chat GPT, what I did is give me 20 short quotes about success. Let's click on enter. All right, and so there we go. We have 20 of our quotes. The cool thing about this is that when you highlight them, it doesn't take the numbers with them. So what do you want to do here is I'm just going to open up a notepad. You could use like a CSV file if you want. And some of the ones that are a little too long, I want to delete because they're probably not going to fit too well in a smaller post. So something like this. And let's just say, let's go with this one just because it's a little longer and that. Great. So I'm just going to highlight all of them and copy them. You know, for me, it's control C. You can always go here and do file copy or however else you do it. Right. All right. So now let's move on over to Canva and you'll see I search for inspirational quotes. So I'm going to quickly go down. I think I liked this one right here, although it's kind of small. So maybe one that's a little bit bigger. Obviously, you know, if you have a design already, that's going to be, you know, what you can utilize. But I guess I'll go back up with the one I had, the minimalistic one right here. Let's utilize this. Let's click on customize this template. And great. Now what we can do is go to apps. If we scroll down a little bit, I just did a uh, video tutorial about this, but now I'm just combining it with chat GBT. And here we're going to click on bulk create. And so I did a video previously. I just want to mention this very quickly. For some reason, anytime I click on enter data manually and I talk through it, it fast forwards my voice. It makes me sound like a chipmunk. And then the rest of the video gets like discombobulated compared to the uh, speaking and what's showing on the video. So I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do here and then show you. So there's going to be two rows when you enter data manually. The second row you're going to delete. And then in the first row, which should be under name, you're just going to paste in everything that you have. So I'll show you how it's done right now. Okay, and just like that, what I've done is pretty much just pasted everything in there. It says right click an element in your page to connect it to your data below. So let's right click right here. Let's do connect data. Name is what we had it under. Okay. And you might have to mess with this a little bit. Let's say, like I said before, if some are too long, they're just going to get obviously, you know, outside the box where you want them. That's why I wanted to create them shorter. But anyway, that looks decent. We can always change it around after. Say like right there, let's click on continue. And all of them are checked off. I deleted a few. So there's 17 and generate 17 pages. All right. And if you'll notice, like that one's a little bit lower, that one's a little bit lower. So this is good. What this tells us is that we just need to move it all up. We can go through one by one and do it, but let's just go back over here and let's move this. So let's put it about right here so you can mess around with it, right? Let's just generate it again. It's pretty easy to do. It just opens up in a new window. Okay. So it still needs to be a little bit higher up. Like that one looks good. So let's go back once more. How about there? And generate. All right, that one's much better. Probably could be a little bit lower. That means the shorter ones you probably will need to move down, which is fine. So you can go like that. If you really want to super center it, right? This is really like an OCD thing. I know I'd be like, it has to be centered, all of them. But just kind of scrolling down. Looks good, looks good. It is where we want it to be. Great, 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 great. And just like that, we have about, well, it would have been 20, but I deleted a few. And what we want to do here, last but not least, is go to share. Want to click on download. And of course, we want to download all 17 pages. It's already highlighted like that. They're already selected. And last but not least, you're going to click on download. So I don't know how quick that was, but that was a very quick tutorial when it comes to using chat GPT, coming up with content and then pasting it into Canva where you can bulk create them. The one thing I do want to let you know is that you're going to need to have some type of design. I didn't want to go through the actual design process, more so about how you can utilize, say, these phrases or quotes, put them in Canva, and then create a lot of them all at once. It's a very quick process once you understand how it's done. Feel free to go back and just watch the steps again. Or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I can help you out in case there's something that I maybe forgot or just maybe you didn't understand in the first place. I hope you got some value out of this. If you want to test out Canva, I will leave the link down below. They do come with a free plan. And if you want to use the pro, they come with a free trial, which is what you're going to need in order to do the bulk creation. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James, and I will see you in my next video.